zero deep iPhone my well I hope everybody else is doing okay I obviously haven't sent my recordings away yet over the Wi-Fi because I need to be at the library or um Uh, I need to be at the library or near my neighbour's Wi-Fi hotspot in order to actually get the Wi-Fi to start with. Which really sucks. But I mean, you know, what else am I meant to do? You know, what else am I supposed to be doing? So, yeah. My, um... done now and what was I talking about? I've lost my train of thought already. Oh crap. Um oh. sorry that's right. I um <coughs> I need to be at the neighbour's Wi Fi hotspot or at the library to send recordings away. So we'll see how I go when I'm at Guide Dogs this week. I don't think it's going to work out. Um, I might have to go to the shops later today and send, you know, sit down at the taxi rank and send my recordings away via Wi Fi while I'm at the taxi rank. It's the only way I'm going to manage that, I think. Um, So yeah, uh, I don't know what else I'd do apart from wait until Friday to go to the shopping centre and send all my recordings away. So that's going to be a lot of recordings, a lot of recordings actually, a lot. Notification. Minus 26 point speech off.
my dogs. I started packing last night and packed. Packed all the clothes away that I want. <coughs> packed all the clothes away that I want so far. I'm going to wear another pair of clothes on Monday, which I'd really like to wear out to guide dogs. I'd really like to wear out. And uh, just go from there and see what happens. I might put two over here first just to get that out of the road. I'm going to start charging up my um, devices today. Yes, I can pack them all up tomorrow. Oh, I have to do that. It won't take long. I'll just charge my uh, GPS and my talking barcode scanner all at the same time. If I do that, then I won't have to worry about much. Is this coffee or not? Oh, yes, it is coffee. Shit. Ugh. You can smell it. Ugh. You can smell the coffee. Okay. Right. Now. I reckon I've taped that other. <coughs> I wonder how good this milk is so far. Oh, no, it's alright. I'm going to use it today and tomorrow because I don't want any milk in the fridge on one bloody Monday. Coffee together. Shit, I'm, oh no. Oh, you're joking. I didn't mean to do that. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Chut, chut, chut. Oh shit. Oh shit. I could make that again. Oh, I could just do it again. Oh, I'll find this other coffee. I've got two of those. Okay. That's alright. I'll take one to guide dogs. Not that I need to do that. I can just take the open one to guide dogs. I have to be a little bit careful though. But oh, I didn't mean to mix two coffees together. Oh no.
now to put this cloth down on top of the mess that I made. That I would even do that. I just can't work that little bit how I accidentally mixed two different coffees together. I can't understand any of that. Do not work any of that out. In fact, I just don't know. I just do not know at all. I just do not know. That goes in. Okay. That's all I want of sugar. Put the milk in. Alright. Get the cereal. Um, you basically put the oats in the dish and about you know half a cup of oats to maybe a cup and a half of uh, water and then you put that in the microwave for like a few minutes. 
bit of feed today. That cereal out of the road. Yeah, see, basically, um, <coughs> so what am I trying to say today? Oh, I'll think of it in a minute. Yeah, so you basically put the porridge in a container, like a little, like a red container or something, a small container, and you put water or milk in it, I would say milk, then you microwave it for the directions that it says, and you can do that, but I choose not to bother with all of that shit. I just don't want to bother with it. Um, mm. <coughs> These wheat, mini wheats are good to be eaten. I um I'll see if I can get to the library today. I don't think I will. I'll either go to the library today or tomorrow if I have the time I will um go to the shopping centre to sit down at the taxi rank where I'll still get the same Wi Fi that you get in the library because it's council city Wi Fi. So I'll get it at the taxi rank or in the library. And the libraries are the library is closed on Sunday and Mondays. So um, I'll either go to the library today or um, sit at the taxi rank tomorrow and put my recordings up. So, um, that way I've got room to do recordings during the week. Um, I'm going to be reading for most of the day too because I want to get through as much of this book as I can called 101 Days by Asni Siostad she's a journalist really good one at that and um, she um she wrote a few books and they are really good. I read one of her books. I'm now not even a quarter of the way through another one of her lovely books. <clears throat> it's called 101 Days, a journal of the war in Baghdad. 
so she writes about what happened before the war, during and after the war, obviously for 101 days. So um, she pretty much writes it down in a way that you know what she believes, what she agrees with or doesn't agree with, but she doesn't tell you point blank. You know, like, oh, I think this person's a bastard or this or that or the other. <coughs> she just tells you, this is what this person said or did or whatever. And um, basically you find out what they did, what they say, how they feel. You get some of this lady's questions, but then she just leaves it at that and you're like, yeah, she doesn't like this situation or she does like this situation, but she doesn't say it bluntly like that. She will admit that she doesn't like some people, but she sort of admits it in a way that if you were there she would she would think about those things privately or wait till she's at the hotel to make such comments about people like she just writes it like that you know so it makes you feel like you're part of the story <laughs> which is pretty blim and scary sometimes I think all these terrorist acts are pretty bloody sad too. All, all these bloody people that are having a bad day and they go and kill 40 or 50 people, you know, like... It was not good. I reckon that people need to learn how to grow up. I know that people say they need psychiatric help and whatnot, but I think most of the time it's bad communication and bad um, bad upbringing. But once people grow up, they learn to understand the real world. They should learn how to live in the real world. And if they can't live in the real world, what's the family and friends doing? So much for people care about others, I don't think so. I think people don't get enough support of family and friends. And then for those that do and hide their intentions, I think they're truly beyond help. Therapy doesn't help everybody. It only helps most people, but not everybody. So as for this latest attack, I really think that this person should be... Um, given the death penalty because you don't take the death penalty lightly and just kill someone because they did something wrong but when they know what they did and it's atrocious and they know that no amount of counselling would have helped them or their family brought them up in such a way that maybe they learnt right from wrong but maybe the family didn't give a shit either so maybe the person decided hey I've learnt right from wrong for mum and dad as a little child but I don't give a shit what they think anymore let's go out and kill some people and disappoint 
all my friends and family because I hate them anyway. Um, I'd like to think what did the family and friends of that, you know, cr- criminal perpetrator do? Secondly, maybe the family <coughs> is really good and didn't know what hit them. And the friends, you know, maybe the friendships were lovely and they just didn't know that this person had hidden their evil intent, is how we'd call it. So, like, thinking of it like that, these people that already weren't going to accept help from counselling, didn't give a shit about their family should really be put to death for committing these terror acts because it's not as if something happened overnight to make them terrorise other people. I think the death penalty should be allowed in cases where the person can't be rehabilitated into society and is a clear risk to the community, to the public at large and no amount of reassurance to that person will make them change their ways. That's how I see it. I also think that people should stop using psycho- psychological and psychiatric therapy as an excuse to get away with crimes. I think that um, people with, you know, mental illness problems who could commit crimes should be locked away in institutions. I don't believe that dangerous people should be allowed in the community. Um, We don't allow dangerous animals in the community. Why would we allow dangerous people in the community? Um, I really think that people just try to find excuses now for getting away with anything. Speech up, stop, stop, button. Anyway. I'm going to go now and finish breakfast and drink my coffee and all of that and have a bit of a read. I will talk to you guys later this afternoon most likely when I do another recording of God knows what. Maybe finish packing up my suitcase because I want to spend all of tomorrow reading and um, as for my plans of um, putting all my recordings away... (sighs) I might just do that when I'm at Guide Dogs if I can access the Wi-Fi. I'll just have to see what I can do. Theoretically, I can use my data, but I don't want to do that. So, (coughs) So, yeah, I'll see what will work out or not. 
with regards to sending my recordings away to YouTube. Anyway, Stop. I hope Action. everyone has a good day or night, depends on where they are in the world, and I will talk to you all later on today. Pause. Pause. Action. Okay then, guys, I have decided... I'm going to get dressed and I'm going to go to the um, shopping centre, to the library, because it's not hot weather. It's only 23 degrees out there, so um, I don't really need to... Um... Oh, I forgot to put my bloody clothes in the dryer. Oh, hang on. <gasps> oh, excuse me. T-shirt on Monday. So I will wear. I don't know. No, I don't know what I'm going to wear. Actually, I'm going to wear that T-shirt on Sunday when I go out. Yes. So I'll wear that one today. Oh, 
those books in the road. Where's my phone now? Where did I put this bloody phone? Oh shit, where did I put the phone? Oh dear, it's right there. Okay. Stop, pause, uh, button. Lock that on it. 11.54, speech off. Okay. Right, now. I reckon there'll be some clothes I have to come back to to wash when I get home, but, you know. Unlike my auntie, who's a clean freak, she would say, have no clothes to come back to when you um, get home. Have no clothes to come back to wash. And I'm like, well, that's what your opinion is. That's your bloody opinion. Sports bra. Okay. Right. I'm going to walk down to the library. I'm not going to buy anything for lunch today, I've decided. I don't know if I'll get any bread either. I don't know yet. I can't be sure. I'll wear that today and the other t shirt on Monday. Um, I wasn't going to go to the library today except that, hey, it is only 23 degrees and I can walk. Library. I can walk to the shops. I don't. Why is this phone not hot? I, um. Well, I have decided that I can walk in 23 degree weather to the shops to and from the shops. Um, I don't feel that I want to go out today, but you know, yeah, sometimes I think it's good to go out. Sometimes it's just a good idea to go out. Now, where that backpack is. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Take that with me on Monday. Okay. Put those two chips in the backpack. VA is getting me a new cane. Guide dogs might oh, need to put deodorant on. Guide dogs may consider. getting me a new cane this week as well. It just depends on their considerations.
tree. It is. Uh, I might just grab a quick cup of water. Just a quick one. Because my doctors are not concerned about how often I drink water as much as how much. So if I have a cup of water every hour, that's very often. But that is better than saying, oh, I'll wait till later, I'm a bit thirsty, but no, I won't have a drink of water until later. That's actually really bad for me. But if you say, I'm going out for three hours, I'll have a cup of water before I go out, I'll have a cup of water when I get home, that's actually not a lot of water in three hours, it's only two little cups, but it is enough to carry you over to dinner time when you have another cup of water, but that's not a lot either. Yet it's enough without having too much water all at once. So it really depends on how you choose to spread out your water drinking habits. You know, instead of drinking a whole lot all at once, you'll have a little bit every now and again for the rest of the day until bedtime. Like one cup of water doesn't seem very much, but in fact it's quite a lot to keep you hydrated. And every time you have one of these cups every, say, between one to maybe three hours, you're preventing yourself from getting behind or dehydrated or, you know, deficient in fluid level in general. If I decide that oh, I've had a cup of water and I'll have one when I get home, <coughs> but then I do a bit of sweating as I walk to the shops, that tells me that maybe I might just buy a drink when I'm at the shops. It could be any drink that I think of to buy. Um, it could be any drink. But then I might not get a drink, and if I did get a drink, it doesn't have to be water. So, as so long as I'm having water every two or three hours and anything else I'd like to drink in the meantime, I won't dehydrate or get heat stroke. And if I do a lot more exercising and I sweat a lot, I might need water every one or two hours. So then I just need to make up for that by having that extra cup of water every one or two hours and that way when I sit down to morning tea I don't need a cup of water because I've already had maybe four or five cups of water during exercise sweated a lot now I can just have a milkshake or a coffee or orange juice and morning tea or lunch or afternoon tea another cup of water at dinner time and then I might be a little bit hot because I'm hot, but I'm not gonna crash and die of heat stroke all of a sudden or develop acute heat stress or dehydration because before bed I will have probably had a cup of coffee or a couple of biscuits, a little bit more water before going to sleep. So I'm never going to become deficient in water levels, no matter which way I see it anymore. Because I'm not always just drinking water. I'm just drinking water every so often to make sure I have enough water, but then I'll drink other things, which will keep my fluids up too, but will also allow me to not lose water volume. It's going to be like out here. I don't know if it's going to rain today and I forgot about that.
iPhone minus zero. iPhone mic. Well, it looks like from using the double one nine six weather service, it feels beautiful and cool out here. It feels nice and cold, actually. In fact, I could walk to the library, but there's one problem that stops me. <sighs> um. It's raining, and I can feel rain droplets coming now like it's going to rain again. So, um, and it feels like it's going to storm. Yet I don't want to spend any money on the taxi unless I, you know, because of um, Monday going out to guide dogs, I have to be very careful not to spend money on taxis right now. So my only other option is to forfeit my trip to the library today I um, do think it wouldn't be a good idea in case I get rained on suddenly uh, the trains are still going funnily enough mm, okay people are still catching the trains in this bad weather mm. as much as I'd like to walk I don't want to get rained on and these shoes are not very waterproof I do have aqua shoes inside, I can put those on, I've got waterproof shoes which are good, but at the same time I would like to try to avoid walking in the rain if I can. Um, because yeah I don't know if it's going to become like an electrical storm or not, I don't know can't be sure. Um, I... yeah, I don't know. I can feel a lot of heavy mist right now, like it's about to pour with rain very heavily suddenly at any time. So even though I had that cup of water ready for a walk, it won't hurt me. It just means I've had some water. And, um... Yeah, it just means I will probably not go to the library. Um, I think it's important to walk, though, but... Yeah, I have to consider the fact that it wouldn't be a good idea. Um, and now if I wasn't going out on Monday I'd I'd get a taxi but due to the fact that I am going out on Monday I, I will not be getting a taxi because uh, I need to save all the money I can this week um yeah, but hey, something will work out. It feels lovely and cold out here. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful, wonderful weather. Um, and I do feel as though I could definitely walk today. I could walk for miles if I wanted, but I know it's going to rain. Yeah, I... Ooh, I don't know. Do not have a clue. I don't know. You can listen to the birds, though. I do feel tempted. I... I think... There is a 95% chance that it will rain and the worst scenario I could have is I walk to the shops, go to the library and then maybe it might rain when I'm ready to come home and I could just get a cab home. That's the worst scenario. That's the worst that can happen.
so yeah I I don't know I'll just see how the outing goes I think because I mean I do need to go for a walk minus 15.1606 12 12 p.m. speech off I really do have to go for a walk and I've got frozen meals made by a reputable company in my freezer and I've got bread there and so I don't really need to buy lunch when I go out unless I really you know if I'm already on an outing and I need something to eat then that's fine which is probably why I'd rather save money for this week at Guide Dogs as I may have to eat when I go out because I can't just say listen I'm going to go back to the centre and cook a meal to eat or buy a frozen meal from Woolworths, Woolworths and put it in the microwave I wouldn't do that so I'll have to buy something to eat and the meals are put in the microwave by the caretakers at night and breakfast is provided in the morning and you provide your own lunch in some way unless you're at the centre eating lunch which is fair enough but I um oh no it rains coming I don't think I can go out oh shit that sucks I guess I won't be going out hey oh dear that really sucks okay well that's that isn't good Oh dear. It's like a consistent drizzle, which I don't want to walk in for that. So I'll just keep the door open. Oh, that really sucks. I was ready to go out. I, I was really seriously, I'm going to wear this. Or wear the shorts on Monday and wear something different, a different shirt. That really sucks. Unless I wear the aqua shoes and then it won't matter if it does rain on me at all, does it? The problem I have with that is not the rain. It's the lightning that might come along as well that I could get caught in. That's the problem. So, I mean, I don't have an issue wearing a raincoat and uh, aqua shoes. If I do that now, I get a raincoat and wear it right now. Okay, that wouldn't be an issue. And aqua shoes. My issue would be lightning. Is there any lightning around? That would be a problem. Not, not the rain, not the aqua shoes, not the raincoat. Not at all. It would be the lightning that consistently comes around. So, um, yeah. I have an issue with that. So, wonder what I can put on this recording. I've got the clothes dry going, but what's something interesting I can do? Because the TV, it's really boring. There's nothing on telly today. I'll have to wait till tonight or you know tomorrow or something well definitely tonight and then tomorrow night um, there will be interesting stuff on TV oh and Yorkshire oh, I forgot about that Yorkshire Vet is on tonight on at 7.30 I forgot about Yorkshire Vet it's on 7.2 tonight no, I also forgot about that show. Um, <coughs> other than that, I don't know what else to put on um, my uh, recording because I would put my aqua shoes on right now and a raincoat and I'd be going out. My issue isn't that and I'll do it at the drop of a hat today. I don't have an issue to do that. Those aqua shoes are waterproof, so uh, I would do that now. My only issue I have is due to thunderstorms coming this afternoon. Is there any danger of lightning strikes? 
anywhere around where I, you know, around Fairfield, around um, the shopping centre and that. When I walk there today, will there be any lightning danger? That's the only problem. Otherwise, yes, I put on a raincoat, I put on aqua shoes, you know. Oh, uh, well, I uh, don't know what else I'd put on recording. Oh, Jesus, I, I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. Um, uh, I don't know. What else will I do? this recording. I can't think of anything. Oh dear. Um, I don't know. I doesn't know. I don't know. I can't think anymore. I think, well, I want to do some exercising, so I'll put on the aqua shoes anyway because I want to go out. You know, I don't want to stay home. So, um, I'm going to put aqua shoes on and uh, fuck the raincoat today. I don't want it. If I wanted it so much, I'd put the basket on. Okay, that's all I care about is going out. I'm going to carry around the house. I just want to go out. just want to go out and enjoy myself. Enjoy my life today. I'm going to wear that cooking and uh, if it rains, it rains. You know, that's just how it is. Right. It's just what happens. Just what? What happens, really? Just how it goes. Okay. Go out anyway. I'm worried about the lightning, but you know what? Whatever. You know, whatever happens is going to happen, isn't it? I need to get those headphones. I nearly forgot. I nearly forgot the headphones. Nearly forgot. Oops. 
need to get the hits on. Come on, where are they? Got them. They're all tangled up now, but I'll fix them up later. Fix them up for later. Oh, this bloody raincoat goes on either day. I'll have to put that into my backpack. This fucking raincoat. Not fine, I don't think. my backpack just in case I need it. There we go. You never know. And, uh, just get in, bloody thing. Now, I'm a bit concerned about the lightning strikes coming on. I don't know. I do not know what to expect with the lightning. So let's just hope to God that maybe I'm just freaking over nothing. I just go, oh, I'm, I'm not polite. 
I do what works, I don't do what I like, I do what works. These are waterproof shoes. So, uh, yeah. Let's see what happens. around at home doing it nutty. They're not the most comfortable shoes for it, but they're really protecting your feet rather than making your feet comfortable. Which at the end of the day I'd rather be comfortable than and not. But I'd also rather protect my feet than be worrying about discomfort so long as the shoes fit.
so long as the shoes fit in my feet, I'll check that I don't care. Okay, I've got boot prints on. So, I was supposedly designed for sleep on watery terrain.
do a mystery, but it's not ready. Oh, Jesus, whoops. 
Sorry. Oh, you're right now. You're um, right now. Oh, okay. We're out the way. Oh, okay. Oops. See you then. You need a helper? Oh, just across. Yeah, sure. Yes. I, I come on uh, on this side. Can I can I take your hand? Oh yeah, I hope yeah. your your elbow. All oh, right. Your, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Just, oh, just one second. There's a car coming. To walk across here. Yeah. I know yeah. it's really hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay, we can go. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you going to the station? No, um, shopping centre. Oh, right. But okay. I, I, I'll be okay from here now, thank you. Up to you. Yeah. I'll go the same way to you. Oh, okay. All right. Well, thank you, but I, I'll be okay. All right. Have a thank, good day. Thank Bye. you. Bye. <laughs> Fuck. 
Stop. Gotcha. 